Hey everyone, this is Adrian from DraftDime.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to optimize your NBA lineups using our custom NBA lineup optimizers, which are available exclusively on DraftDime.com. There's a link to, uh, to our optimizers in the description for this video. And the best part about our optimizer is it's 100% free. Um, I know a lot of websites, they charge subscription fees where you have to pay, I don't know, $20 a month to access their optimizers but ours is 100% free and we update it every single day and then at the end of the video we'll uh, we'll use our optimizer to to uh, to make our picks for tonight which is 12 29 2014 uh, we'll use both the FanDuel and the uh, the drafting lineup optimizers and see what it spits out alright so let's get started so what you're looking at right here is our optimizer for FanDuel for tonight which is 12 29 2014 we have all the players who are playing tonight. We have all the different projections from various sources. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to enable Solver because this spreadsheet uses Solver to calculate the most optimal lineup. And I'll show you how to go ahead and enable Solver. So what you do is you go to Developer, go to Visual Basic, and your Visual Basic editor will pop up. Um, once you're in Visual Basic, you go to Tools, References. And then you want to make sure that radio box next to solver is checked. For most of you guys, it probably won't be. So go ahead and check that radio box and click OK. And then go ahead and close out of your Visual Basic Editor. Once you do all that, um, you're pretty much ready to go. All you have to do is click on this green button here that says show me the optimal lineups. And it's going to spit out the top eight lineups. Right now it's defaulted at the top eight lineups. You can specify however many lineups you want to see. So the more lineups you, you put, obviously, the longer it's going to take to calculate. And I'll show you how to specify uh, how many lineups you would like to generate uh, when I get into how to customize this spreadsheet. So the good thing about this spreadsheet is we have a number of different projections on this spreadsheet. We have our own custom projections in column L. We have rotor wires projections in column M. Um, number fires projections which are pretty good projections in column N and then in column K we have each player's average fantasy points per game on the season so if you look at column O that's our weighted average projection which takes into consideration all four of these uh, fields columns K through N and if you look over here in columns X4 or cells X4 through X7 these fields you could change and you could specify how much weight you want to put on each projection. So right now it's defaulted at 50% weight on draft time projections and 50% weight on number fire projections. Um, so, so the great thing is that you could go in and customize it and tweak it and experiment with different kinds of projections. So <laughs> you know you might you might want to put 50% weight on draft time projections maybe 20% weight on rotowires projections, 20% weight on number fires, and then 10% weight on season averages. And if you do that, you see that column O changes to reflect this. Another thing that you could do is you could exclude or include a certain player. So you could lock in a certain player who you think might be, you know, might have a good game and it's going to optimize the lineup around that specific player. Um, the way you do this is by going to that specific player so, for instance, you know, I think Dwayne Wade's going to have a pretty good game tonight. He's going against Orlando, and historically, he, he has always had a good game against Orlando. So, I would go next to his name, and I would put an L next to his name. So, what that does is that locks in Dwayne Wade, and it builds a lineup around Dwayne Wade. You could also exclude a certain player by putting an X next to his name. So, you know, I might see in what we have Chris Bosch here in C17. And I might want to exclude him because, you know, this is his first game back in a couple weeks and he might be a little bit rusty. So what I'll do is I'll put an X next to his name and then he's not going to get picked up in any of our lineups. Um, you can also exclude a certain team by coming here to column K and putting an X next to a certain team. The only reason I could think for someone to exclude an entire team is if, uh, is if you're doing the later games and, you know, some of these earlier teams aren't playing anymore. But besides that, I can't think of another reason to exclude an entire team. So we have all of our projections in there. We have how much weight we want on each projection. Um, now we want to generate, we want to specify how many lineups we're going to generate. And you do this by 
changing the value in cell C5 or no Z5. Right now it's defaulted at 8, but you could specify however many lamps you want to generate. So yeah, now we're ready to uh now we're oh actually let me get rid of the L by Dwayne Wade's name. And I'll get rid of the X for Chris Bosch. Alright, so now we're ready to see our optimal lineup. All you have to do is click this green button and we're good to go. And right now solver's running right now. There we have it. So the top lineup is obviously the first one. I have it highlighted in yellow. And then we have, you know, the bottom seven lineups underneath that. So here's your picks for tonight. DeMarcus Cousins, John Wall, Pau Gasol, Victor Oladipo, Brandon Knight, Chris Humphreys, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, Gerald Henderson, and OJ Mayo. Uh, so feel free to go ahead and use these lineups. I think I'm going to go ahead and enter this lineup in FanDuel. And uh, hopefully not too many of you enter this lineup because then I'm going to have a lot of competition. So um, let me go ahead and run this again for DraftKings and see what it spits out for DraftKings. So... I'm going to close out of this one. I'm going to open up the uh, the DraftKings Optimizer, which you can find on our website. I actually have it saved on my computer. So, all right. So here's our optimizer for for uh, DraftKings.com. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the the percent weight on the different projections. 50% draft time, 10% roto wire. 30% number fire and 10% season averages. All right, and I'm going to specify top eight lineups. And I'm going to click here, show me the optimal lineups. So the uh, the optimizer actually takes a little bit longer to run for a draft king because you have more variations of the different lineups because you know you could pick a utility player you could pick a guard it doesn't have to be a, a point guard or a shooting guard so it's a lot more flexible and there's a lot more variations of the different lineups so obviously that's why you know it took longer to generate the lineups but here you have it you have your top lineup right here uh, it's kind of similar to the one from FanDuel if you look at it uh, DeMarcus Cousins, Victor Oladipo, Darren Collison, Collison uh, Brandon Knight, Josh Smith JJ Reddick, Chris Humphreys, and Zaza Pachulia. Alright, so I hope you find this video useful. I hope you find our optimizers useful. Remember that you could download these optimizers from DraftDime.com. Uh, we update it every single day. We do all the work for you. Um, you don't have to know anything about Solver or how to use Solver because we do all that for you. All you have to do is uh, go to the website, download these optimizers, and click that green button, and you're good to go. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, like us on Facebook, and be sure to check out DraftDime.com for your daily fantasy updates. Again, I'm Adrian from DraftDime.com, and I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback.